What's going on guys, Arrow here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a potential port that may be coming to the Nintendo Switch later this year. Now before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that I am giving away a $35 Nintendo eShop card as a thank you for reaching 35,000 subscribers. So if you guys are interested in winning that, then all you gotta do is click the link in the description. You can also click the link in the pinned comment, head over to my Twitter, give that tweet a retweet, follow me and you have a chance to win. And if you also join my Discord server, which is linked below in the description, you can double your chances. So definitely be sure to take that opportunity to win a free Nintendo eShop card. But yesterday I was on Twitter and I saw that some of you guys were tweeting this to me, telling me to talk about it, make a video about it, and give you guys my thoughts. And that's the possibility that Super Mario 3D World from the Wii U may in fact be getting ported or coming onto the Nintendo Switch later this year. Now this definitely came out of nowhere, I don't really think anybody was expecting some type of game leak or anything like this to happen, but what happened was on the Best Buy website, like Best Buy's online system with like all of their stuff on their website, apparently there was a listing for an SKU that was posted and it was about Super Mario 3D World and then it was listed for the Nintendo Switch. Now there wasn't any type of image or release date or anything like that, but it is kind of interesting how the SKU popped up, we had a number and everything, and it said Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Switch. So the first thing about this is if you guys haven't known, there's actually been a lot of Mario rumors that have been happening for the past couple of weeks. There was actually one that happened like right towards the end of March, and that was like the really big one that everybody was talking about. And so that rumor that started at the end of March and the beginning of this month basically said that there was going to be multiple big 3D Mario games that were all going to be coming onto the Nintendo Switch later this year. And this rumor was actually covered by multiple reputable news websites, like ones that are actually credible and give a lot of like solid information. Multiple news websites like Eurogamer and a lot of other ones were reporting on this saying that they heard sources telling them that there was going to be big 3D Mario games all coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2020. And these included Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario 3D World. Now I did make a video about this entire rumor going into full detail about why I think that it could happen and the possibilities of it happening and all of these games coming. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you to go and check it out. There should be a little eye up in the corner right now so you can go ahead and click on that. But I'll also put this video in the outro if you want to go and watch it after you're done watching this video. But yeah, in that rumor, it did mention that Super Mario 3D World was in fact going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch later in 2020, and they even specified that it was going to be a deluxe port, like they said it was going to be called Super Mario 3D World Deluxe or something along those lines, and it was going to have more content. And so if we did get a deluxe port of Super Mario 3D World on the Switch, I think that would be really awesome. I think a lot of people would really love that. I mean, there's a lot of ways that they could go about this. I really hope that they kind of add a good amount of content to it. Like New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which got ported to the Switch, that game I really don't think did a really good job of like having more new content. Like they basically just added that Peachette character. Um, and they kind of they might have done a few like smaller things But I'm talking about like actual big changes that they could have done to the game not like insane changes But there's at least like one thing that they could probably do in terms of like maybe adding a new playable character like in that game I think we have Mario Luigi blue toad uh, Yellow toad or I don't know if yellow toads in I think I know one of the toads is in for sure And then peach is in there too because you're not saving peach You're actually saving like the the little fairy things I forget their names and then you also could probably have another character. I know Rosalina or like Baby Rosalina or one of those is an unlockable character, but I'm talking about like if there's going to be a deluxe port of it, maybe they could just add another playable character. There's a lot of possibilities, maybe Yoshi or like Wario or somebody like that. There's a lot of other playable characters that they could add. And then maybe like two or three new items would be cool, like new power-ups that you could turn into, just new things to add more flavor into the game. And then finally, maybe like adding a couple new levels or a new world or something like that, because even if you've played everything on the original one on the Wii U, that way if there's new levels and new content in the Switch one, you might still be intrigued to wanting to maybe purchase the game again. And then really the one big mode that I would love to see them add into this game, which I would love so much, but I don't think it will happen, was if they actually put online multiplayer into the game, where that was like one of the best parts about this game originally on the Wii U, was that you could actually play a 3D Mario game with multiplayer like you could have some friends come over your house you could all give them a controller and they could all be different characters like they could be you know luigi peach toad or whatever and you could all like play with each other and get through the levels you could make it competitive as well trying to see who gets the best score who gets the most coins and stuff but you could also help each other out like you know throw each other to get like certain coins and stuff like that it was really fun but like of course now with everybody staying inside and just some people maybe you can't really get a lot of friends to come over your house but you've got friends who live far away or just friends that are kind of 
a little bit further away from you and can't really always come over to your house it would be so sick if you can actually do online multiplayer where like you can actually get through the game and get through some levels with your friends online that would be really awesome i don't know how it would work with nintendo's wi-fi and like nintendo's servers and everything but i still think it would just be so cool if you could do that now I figured that it is worth mentioning that just because this listing did appear on Best Buy, it doesn't mean that this is 100% happening and that this game is guaranteed to come out because of this listing. I really do think that Super Mario 3D World will probably come to the Switch regardless of if this listing turns out to be true or not. I think that's just one of those games that it, Nintendo would be silly if they really didn't put this game on the Switch. I feel like at this point now, all of the Wii U's major games have pretty much come onto the Switch like Captain Toad, Hyrule Warriors, pretty much all of those other big games have already come from the Wii U. There's only really three games that I can think of now that are left on the Wii U that still need to come to the Switch. The Wonderful 101 used to be on this list, but that game is getting remastered and coming out on the Switch next month. Really, the only three games that I feel like are left are Super Mario 3D World, uh, Pikmin 3, and Xenoblade Chronicles X. And so Super Mario 3D World could finally be coming this year. Pikmin 3, I feel like, could come. Maybe it could be ported. Like, I know there was a rumor that was saying that we could get a Pikmin 3 Deluxe coming to the Switch. That would be awesome. Or maybe even, like, a Pikmin Trilogy where we get Pikmin 1, 2, and 3. That would be really awesome. And then with Xenoblade Chronicles X, I mean, if Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition does pretty well next month, then maybe Monolith Soft could be a little bit more interested in wanting to port that game over to the Switch as well. So I do think that Super Mario 3D World will eventually come to the Switch even if this Best Buy listing turns out to be fake, but I'm just saying like we shouldn't say that it's 100% confirmed just because of this listing. There have been times where Best Buy has put up stuff and it's turned out to be fake. I think last year like there was a listing for Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Switch and everybody was losing it. I think it came from Best Buy so everybody was like oh it's gonna happen now and then we got nothing. But there's also been times where stuff has turned out to be true like there was a picture of Joker that appeared when they were talking about Joker coming to Smash Bros and everybody didn't know if that was like the official render or not and sure enough it turned out to be the official render for Joker which got leaked from Best Buy so Best Buy kind of has leaked stuff in the past and there's also been stuff that's turned out to be fake so we shouldn't say that just because this listing appeared now that Super Mario 3D World is 100% coming to the Switch but like I said I feel like this game is probably going to come to the Switch at some point anyway so we'll just have to wait and see. Now I tweeted about this on my Twitter as well, so let's take a look at my Twitter and see if we got any responses. I asked you guys how you feel if Super Mario 3D World did in fact come to the Nintendo Switch and if you guys would be interested in buying that. And so yeah, here is the tweet. I said, so Super Mario 3D World for the Switch appeared on Best Buy's website system yesterday. Do you guys think that this game will come? Would you buy if it did? And are there any wishes that you have for it? Reply to this tweet and you could be featured in my next video. So Mystic here is saying, I would give it a try since I never played it on the Wii U. I just hope that it won't be at full price again for the exact same game. Now unfortunately you know how Nintendo works, like this game is 100% going to be $60, you're going to pay the full price for it, but like you said you've never played the Wii U version so I think if they actually added like a good amount of new content and stuff, $60 is definitely worth it for this game, uh, especially if you've never played it. Like I think if you've played the game in the past then it might not be worth it for you, um, I know how that's how I felt when I bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, like I paid $60 for that game. But the thing was, I played Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U originally, and I bought the DLC for it on the Wii U as well. So I just didn't feel like it was fully worth it because all the tracks were the same. It was basically paying $60 just for that battle mode and so that I could have it on the Switch. But yeah, I think if this game, since you haven't played it, I think you will definitely enjoy it. And I think it's definitely worth it for $60 if you haven't played it. Uh, let's see here. Ash is saying, I never got the chance to play it, but I may try it out if it comes to the Switch. I did watch some gameplay of it, and it's, it looks seems like a really interesting game. And yeah, that's definitely true. Like, this is one of those special 3D Mario games because it's not, like, fully, like, open, like, kind of like Super Mario Odyssey, where you can get lost in the kingdoms exploring and stuff. It's kind of linear, but the thing is, it's just really fun because there's so much cool things you can do in this game that you can't really do in, like, the sandbox type of Mario games. And you can have multiplayer in it, which is really awesome. Like if you have a little brother or sister or someone, or just like friends you can invite over your house, that's like really awesome for you to be able to just play. Uh, this guy here saying, anyone think that it's weird for a Nintendo to, to held another Twitter Direct that lasts a few hours announcing two huge updates as opposed to hosting a Direct or Direct Mini? We still haven't had a full Direct since September and we know nothing about Nintendo's lineup past May. Now I know there were some people trying to say that maybe this could hint at the fact that maybe a Nintendo Direct could be around the corner where they could say that this game is in fact coming to the Switch 
later this year like i think that this would definitely be an announcement to have in a direct like saying that super mario 3d world is coming so i think that that could happen i honestly don't think that we're still gonna see any type of nintendo direct until around june i think that's when we'll see it like around e3 time like when that e3 presentation was supposed to happen i think that's when we'll get the next nintendo direct but you never know maybe we'll get one next month i mean now with e3 being canceled and stuff like there's definitely a possibility that game companies could do announcements earlier now so maybe nintendo could just have a direct like mid may next month and we'll get some information then and then finally, Solo here is saying, I think that it will come for the Switch. I'd buy it as soon as it drops since I loved it on the Wii U. Maybe add another character or another world. And that's basically what I want as well. If they added another character that offered a completely new gameplay experience or another world that had like completely new levels, then that would get people who even bought it on the Wii U to want to buy it again because there's new stuff that they can experience. But yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for all the Twitter responses. I'm sorry I couldn't read all of them. We get so many of these and I don't want to make the video too long. But yeah, thank you guys so much for responding. And remember, if you ever want to be featured in videos like this, then just go and follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow. And so there you go, guys. That is the possibility of Super Mario 3D World potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this. Would you guys be interested in getting this game if it did come? Would you be buying it again? What, what type of new content would you like to see? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Nintendo content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow so you can be featured in videos and also join my discord server as well we've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about pokemon and smash bros and nintendo so definitely be sure to join that and remember to enter my giveaway as well i'm giving away a 35 dollar nintendo eShop card so if you want to have a chance to win that then all you got to do is click the link in the description or the pinned comment and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching